It's a great thing about the league. You play everybody twice, you get a chance to make adjustments. And uh, I told Coach Self before the game, I hope we see him uh, uh, again, but hopefully it's in a Final Four because that'd be great for the Big 12 Conference. I thought it was a great showcase um, for the Big 12 today. You had two teams play extremely hard and uh, um, proud of how we how we uh, battled back. Um, I thought in the first game, the biggest the biggest difference was we were able to get some 21-2 uh, uh, to two points off uh, turnovers, and today we, we didn't get that. And then second thing, anytime uh, it comes down to a close game, usually it comes down to the free throw line. And, uh, uh, we didn't shoot the uh, uh, free throws like uh, we needed to to win in a close game. Scott, uh, you did such a good job of not allowing hands to be shot the first time. What was the difference in well, I, uh, their spacing was different, um, and I thought they did a, a, a really good job uh, uh, mixing up some of the things they did. And uh, we didn't tag right sometimes. We didn't switch right sometimes. Uh, at the end of the day, um, we got to do a much better job. In, uh, uh, and and I, I told the players it's my fault. I, we didn't work enough on, on on following him when he was close to the rim. You always work on not following, and we didn't work enough on following him. And much rather him go to the free throw line rather than getting dunks and layups. Well, well, definitely when when they got two bigs in there, it changes things. And then with Garrett hitting threes lately, that changes things. And uh, um, uh, again, I think uh, uh, they've done a much better job. Uh, as the season goes on, you, you as a coach, you you get in a rhythm. And I think. Uh, uh, um, Barring injuries or, or people coming and going, you're able to kind of get a groove, and I think they're in a good groove right now. Um, I know uh, uh, it was great for us to get Maceo back today, but uh, uh, obviously he hadn't practiced, and we got to get back into a groove and a rotation. Uh, you're a much better team when you know when you're playing, how how you're playing, and and whatnot. And uh, uh, again, I thought uh, Maceo was uh, he's a really tough nut and wanted to give it a go, and I thought he did a great job, um, but. Uh, as anyone will tell you, it's really tough when you haven't been practicing much to, to try to go in and, and play. But uh, their middle ball screen uh, uh, will definitely have some different things we'll experiment with if we face them again. So, uh, uh, and again, hopefully that's in a Final Four. How close to the look you wanted was the last shot this year? Well, I, I, I tell you what, if you hit your free throws down the stretch, then it's a different situation. And at the end of the day, that's why close games, I mean, the, the free throw line is such a big a big part of it. And uh, we have really good free throw shooters. And, uh, um, I mean, we can be an 80% free throw shooting team. And uh, uh, the other thing is normally we, we – when we miss free throws, we, we get a couple rebounds of those. And Kansas did a good job blocking us out. We, we didn't do as well on the glass as we as we'd have liked uh, and been as effective with second chance points. And two of the best teams in the country defensively and rebounding. But uh, um, we definitely pride ourselves on winning that battle. Uh, uh, learn from any game, win or lose. What's the long-term lesson from, from this? Well, I think uh, um, uh, the, the, the short-term lesson is in the Big 12, the beauty of it is you have 18 games. Every one of them count the same. And uh, for us, uh, uh, the goal at the beginning of the year wasn't to sweep Kansas. The goal was to win a Big 12 championship. Their goal is to win a Big 12 championship. Everyone in the Big 12 is to win a Big 12 championship. So uh, we got to be ready to go for Tuesday. And uh, we got to focus, lock in, and then hopefully we can, uh, now that Maceo's back, we can get start to get a rhythm and a, in a, in a, in a, uh, a subbing pattern and, and start to develop some chemistry with that again. Coach, you've been around the league for 17 years. I mean, what quality are these two teams playing with? How good are these two teams? Well, I, elite defensively. I mean, there's 353 teams, and, and you got two top three defenses. And, uh, I, I mean, nothing's easy, uh, except, I guess, when it's a – 12-foot lob to Doak, and he's the only one up there. But uh, other than that, everything's tough. And uh, uh, um, the big thing uh, for us is uh, we got to keep getting better. And uh, barring injuries, you always have some injuries, illnesses, but uh, you want to keep moving forward. I think Kansas has is, is really progressed since the last time we faced them. And um, we had a heck of a run. I mean, I never thought uh, I would see anyone do, uh, um, if you say 23 games, anybody take Baylor out of it. It's just the Big 12 is so tough. It's six straight years, number one conference for a reason. And that is uh, um, there's a lot of good teams, a lot of good players, good coaches, great fan support. And I can't thank our fans. Uh, our administration has done an unbelievable job with the two game days. And uh, uh, I know uh, uh, ESPN, uh, um, uh, they're 
they've done an unbelievable job uh, uh, in covering those games. But I can't thank uh, Mac and his staff enough for uh, making them feel welcome. And it's great having college game day here. And hopefully, uh, uh, at some point, they come back and we'll get them a win. You've wanted an atmosphere like that here for a long, long time. And it, was that walking in here kind of a dream come true to you? Because you've been pushing for that for a long time. Well, I think I think uh, um, the second time we've been number one, we've handled it a lot better. And I think the more you get an atmosphere like this, the better you handle it as well. And I think uh, uh, you definitely are excited and, and appreciative. And at the same time, um, again, coaches always like routines and they, they like consistency. And what, what you what, anytime you have things that get added in. Out of that, I, I mean, I thought our guys were, were obviously really fired up to play. And just so you know, 11 o'clock games for college kids ain't the easiest. So it takes a great atmosphere and a great game to get them ready to go. And uh, you had two teams out there really competing. Right down the stretch, uh, you know, you guys didn't give up. Uh, and obviously, you had the chance right at the very end to you know, potentially tie. Well, I think that that shows you the heart of our team. We have great upperclassmen leadership and uh, uh, great togetherness and. Uh, um, Normally when you're not playing well, you can hang your head, but uh, why we've been successful is our guys uh, pick each other up and they don't, they don't one mistake done lead to two because they care about their teammate. Bill just stood up there and said that he thinks you guys are the best team he's seen since he's been in the Big 12 uh, for an opponent. He said maybe Oklahoma State 04, Texas Tech last year, but he thinks you guys are better at this stage. What, how do you react? Well, that's great praise. I mean, Coach Self, we came in the league together, and he's seen all, a lot of great teams. And uh, obviously, he's had a lot of those great teams. So uh, he's one of the best in the business. He knows what he's talking about. And that's why uh, uh, when you when you face their teams, just like other Big 12 teams, you get better. And um, as a coach, if you have a weakness, teams are going to find it, and then you got to adjust to it. Coach, uh, you've played Kansas a lot over the course of your career. What is it about the Kansas-Baylor matchups, uh, especially at home a lot of the times, that just they seem to come down to those final seconds, <coughs> final minutes, and neither team is ever out of the game no matter how large the lead is? Well, our first couple of years we were out of them, but uh, <laughs> uh, um, the, I, I think, I think uh, uh, the, good, the good thing is you have two teams that uh, – have had, have had a lot of really good players and really good players don't go down easy and they're going to fight to the end and um, normally again and uh, uh, you have two great teams facing uh, uh, each other a lot of times it comes down to a simple thing is second chance points and and uh, uh, free throw shooting and uh, points off turnovers and and I mean those areas um, uh, we could have done better in. Scott it's been like three and a half months between losses for you guys and I'm sure you're taking up I kind of like that, by the way. I, I like that feeling a lot better. <laughs> but how do you see this team reacting and responding to that? Because they really, you know, they've kind of met every adversity until today so far. So how, how do you see the reaction going forward knowing this group? Well, interesting. You used the word adversity. Our, our chapel service today was the word adversity. I was like, "Oh no, Pastor, that's not a good one for today." Maybe, but um, any, anyway, uh, 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 anyway, you're, you're going to face adversity uh, each and every game and all throughout the year. And with us, I mean, uh, uh, why we've been successful is we win or, or, or no matter how we've played, and then the loss after Washington, we've been able to regroup and focus on the next game and give that 100% effort. And again, our goal is to win a conference championship. And if you don't do that, you're not going to win one. And uh, I have faith and trust in our players. They'll keep doing what's made them successful because I know the type of people they are.